remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I just watched a very disturbing video, which pretty much confirms what all of us already know about policing. They are trained to be overly aggressive. This one guy in Pittsburgh by the name of David Wright, he is responsible for training every single officer in Pittsburgh for the last 15 years. He said that he would rather his officers overreact than to underreact because in his mind, as long as his officers are safe, pretty much fuck everybody else. That's the mentality. As long as the officer, you know, you hear him saying it all the time. We just want to get home safely. It's our job to get home safe. So they will violate your civil rights if that's what it takes for them to get home at the end of the night. Whether you get home or not, it's not their concern. They train the officers to be aggressive. They're assuming that every single person that they come in contact with is going to try to bring them harm. So they start out being aggressive. They show up on the job with a really badass attitude. That's why oftentimes when you see an officer already engaged with a suspect, the officer may have the situation under control and the Billy Badass pull up and jump out, don't ask any questions, just start pounding, kicking, stomping, kicking folks all in the head and everything, hitting them with batons. This is the mentality of U.S. police officers and they wonder why there is so much violence in America. Listen to what I'm saying. If you raise a child up in a household whereas his parents are violent, guess what? That child is going to become violent because that is what management is teaching that child to be violent. When you have a situation that you can't control, Throw a punch, stab somebody, hit them, shoot them. Somebody don't comply with your orders or your demands, stab them, shoot them, hit them, insult them. That's the mentality. The way law enforcement operates in America, the way politicians in corporate America operates, it trickles down to everyday citizens. And when they see the members of Congress, when they see uh, members of, of banking institutions and these other corporations acting like thugs, they see cops acting like gang members, well, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have other people acting like gang members because in their mind, Although you think you're better just because you have the badge and the gun, in the mind of the average citizen, your life is no greater than theirs. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You have to lead by example. That is the way the world works. This is not a do as I say, not as I do society. This is a do as I do society. That's what we're in. They're teaching these cops to be aggressive. They're coming out. They're, they're going into the job day one with a chip on their shoulder. It's no coincidence that more cops are being involved in uh, murder investigations a lot sooner 
than in the past. They're coming in within days, within a few weeks. They already got a murder under their belt. That is that aggressive behavior that they're teaching in their police training classes. That's what's happening. I got a link in the description. Y'all check it out and leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this. To that former officer who trained all of the officers in Pittsburgh to be aggressive and to be over uh, assertive, to be overzealous, to pretty much tread on uh, the citizens of, of Pittsburgh's rights. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.